the cultures that you put your entire identity into as a child, mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to stay with the uh, tradition. So Christmas, I mean, in any type of American holiday, I don't really fuck with it because it's <laughs> and this is what it, this is what it is, right? Um, having been in the military, I see what the whole America thing is, right? America is the product of the United States. And what it does, it goes around the world offering like a timeshare. <laughs> the lifestyle of America, right? But people don't understand what it does. So it offers a lifestyle of America, hence why they use all this popular culture to power it, right? And and then when people start partaking of it, well, yeah, it's, you know, it's fun, it's exciting, it's dynamic, but ultimately it's erosive or corrosive to foundational and traditional cultures. So I try not to partake because it's like, all right, eventually it's going to, in the words of Patrice O'Neill, become a hamburger hot dog holiday. You know what I'm Like the whole 9-11 thing. People are like, oh, 9-11, never forget, never forget, whatever. But Patrice O'Neill said, he said, well, look, within 20 years, eh, he said right now, after like two, three years later, people are down there taking picture with the site and send, and they're like, hey, welcome to San Francisco. You know, that's the way that they posing for. But it's 9-11. And you see that here in Dallas, right? How uh, people go to the Kennedy, whatever. It's kind of morbid that they even got that shit. But they sit there smiling, posing like, hey, cheese well that's that's what americanism does to traditional values it tends to erode it over time to where it don't even have the you can make this left coming up here inside the spot too so you're basically saying that it's all fake no 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 not that it's fake that it's a gamble it's 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 not not it's all fake it's all vegas and Vegas isn't fake, because you can win money there. It's an illusion. It's an illusion, but it's a it's a hell of a gamble. But a lot of people don't know what they're wagering. So you don't talk, you don't celebrate all these holidays. Oh fuck no, bro! Is I can't. I, it's a, <laughs> it don't. I just feel like work hard. It don't. Well, well, of course, but that ain't got nothing to do with a holiday or nothing like that. Is is more along the line of what the traditionalism represents, right? So once I understood that, okay, this is what the traditionalism represents. What is it that that possibly I could take from as the objective? You know, like there's some universalism in all of it, right? So I extract the universalism and the framework, and that's what I absorb. But as far as it goes with the cultures involved, you know what I'm saying? Involved with it? Nah, I can't do that because that's some foul shit. Because I've been in places around the world. And then you go back there like maybe 10 years later and this changed so much. And the major change that it has is that it looks more Americanized. You know what I mean? That's the only change. Look, it don't look like they, it don't look like they, they're copying Italy. It don't look like they're copying Shanghai or, or Zimbabwe or nothing like that. I'm no. In Pakistan and everything, people are celebrating Christmas now in Pakistan. Really? And Halloween. And Saudi Arabia is celebrating Halloween too. Halloween, really? Saudi Arabia. What? The devil is taking over everywhere. <laughs> it's the end of times, man. It's it, close to God. It gotta be, cuz. It gotta be, cuz. I mean, look, Halloween, come on. Now, I can understand can you it. Can imagine Halloween getting celebrated in uh, Saudi Arabia? No, I cannot. I cannot. I'm but scared because of that. I would be, I would be fucking frightened, cuz. But see, that's why I don't participate, cuz I saw whenever we was going what is somewhere. Halloween? Worshipping devil. It, I don't well. I don't know if it's worshiping a devil, but I know that it's not the better qualities of man. <laughs> it's not the better qualities of. I don't celebrate. I don't either. Shit. It's, once you figure out what it is, it's like, all right, now nah, I can't rock with that. But that's a culture, right? So once you get the understanding that you're dealing with somebody else's culture, then you realize, all right, well, what is it that makes up culture? What is it that makes this a, a, a beloved tradition? And so let me look for things within my reality that I might want to start celebrating that has a little bit more hint of a 
of a righteousness to it, some more light. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it ain't got it. I mean, everything they want you to celebrate over here is some ill shit. Thanksgiving. Ill shit, though. I don't really know what Thanksgiving is. Fourth of July. Ew shit. That's Independence Day though. Independence That's Day. Ew shit. It's still ew. <laughs> it's still ew. It's like, all right, look, it's, it's call it something else, but I mean, the fact that they look all weird when black people don't want to celebrate it, it's like, look, at that moment in our history, we were at at our most desolate. I'm not finna celebrate that just for the fuck of it. Oh, you know, like it's St. Patrick's Day or some shit. What the fuck? That ain't my culture. <laughs> but America is a mixture of mix of cultures anyway. Okay, I dig you, but at the end of the day, it all looked like it's turning white. You celebrate whatever you it want. all looked like it's turning white. I would I would agree with that, isn't it? I would agree that it's a yes, a mixture of different cultures, but eventually over time, you see all those differences of cultures. Really? You do video? No, no, no. I you do video. No, no, I'm not making video. I record oh. I record my conversations and try to see what I learn from it and the best way that I convey myself in public. Cause I cuss a lot. And I'm trying to get out of that shit. <laughs> I respect cuss. All right, man.